I didn't think I would be back on here. I honestly felt like God had pulled me off. And at first I thought just for a little bit, focus on my family, focus on my ministries here. And then time kept going and time kept going. And um, some of you had been asking and checking in on me and I just been telling you, hey, God, God kind of pulled me out for a little bit. I'm being benched. Didn't know why. Didn't know for how long. I just knew that there was one sign I asked from him privately and quietly, just between him and I, that if you wanted me to get back on, a certain sign would happen. And I made sure it was one that, you know, couldn't just happen easily. It had to be something specific. And right when I'd given up, right when I thought, okay, I've been permanently benched. God is using other people to share his word, other people to encourage, because there's a lot. If you need someone, YouTube, uh, Rumble, there's so many places you can go. Real communities, physical communities, churches, small groups. There's so many places you can go. And I just thought, okay, I've been permanently benched. And I was making peace with it. Okay, my family needs me. My church needs me. This is okay. And then randomly today, I'm in the middle of fixing so many things that are needing to be redone for the month because of a family emergency. And the sign I had prayed for literally dings up on my laptop. And I looked at it and at first I dismissed it and I just kept working. And then I went to it and I was like, oh my gosh, He's putting me back in. <laughs> and at first I was kind of in shock. Like, I don't even know what to talk about. I've been out of the game for so long. What do I do? And so I've been kind of praying and working and then stopping to pray and then working. And I'm about to clock out for the day. And I was like, okay, I told God I would faithfully wait until a sign appeared if it ever did. And I did. But I also told him the moment he showed me that sign, I would faithfully come back and do my part. So I felt like I was kind of delaying, delaying. So here I am. I'm checking in with all of you. I hope you've been well. My family's been hit pretty hard. I would say though, all of us, if you asked us, myself, my husband, my parents, my brothers, we would say we are okay, we are well. It is well with our soul. But if you had asked someone facing what we've been facing who wasn't a believer, they'd be like, I'm a mess. I'm falling apart. God has been good. God has been good to my family. We're going through a lot. And um, on, every, on every side you can imagine, myself, my husband, my little family, my parents, my brothers, we're all getting hit and we're getting hit individually, but we're also feeling each other's hits because we work in ministry together. We support each other as family and it's been rough. And I've had a few of you reaching out to me asking for prayer. It's been rough. We are in the thick of it and I don't know. I don't know when he's coming back, but you guys, you know where I'm at. I know it can be any day. I don't know the order of things as well as some will claim to know them. But I know that those birthing pains are coming so close together that that baby is soon to come. And I just wanted to read from James chapter 1, verses 2 to 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And this is a big deal. This verse is not one to just take as a stamp of, yep, I'm going through a trial. That's just the way it is. I just got done teaching the kids here about the armor of God. And we had a lot of fun with it. We broke it down. We learned each piece and how each piece can be used. And then we did a great 
game at the end of it, a huge test. And they did great. And then I was like, where do we go from here? And the, and the words, now what, popped in my head. Now what? We've got the armor of God. Does that mean nothing bad will happen? We know that's not true. And I've got to set these children up for success. They need to know that just because you know about the armor of God and just because you know how it works and just because you put it on doesn't mean you're untouchable. We have an enemy who is after us. God is victorious, right? He gives us so many comforting verses. Jesus, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. And I mean, he even references, you know, if you're going to be my disciple, you need to take up your cross daily. And these are discussions I'm going to have with children this Wednesday. But how often do we adults need to be reminded of this? If we're going to be a follower of Jesus, it isn't a vacation. It isn't a haven. We're looking towards a haven. We're looking towards heaven. One day, there will be no worry or stress or fear or grief or sadness or struggle. But right now, we're to be faithful. Right now, we are to put that armor on and stand firm, not go on vacation, not sit back on the couch. The armor is for a soldier. Armor is for battle. Armor isn't just to put it on and stand there and do nothing. And it's, um, it's so simple, but how easily we forget. God gave us armor because we are facing an enemy and we are going to be in the midst of battles. We're going to be in the midst of trials. This life wasn't promised to us to be easy, but he did promise peace and joy and love. The things that we can find if we abide in him. If we run to him every time things fall apart rather than to ourselves, rather than to substances or distractions, he is the answer. Stand firm. Take joy in the trials. That's something I'm trying to teach myself. When I'm facing trials, I need to take joy that this is a moment for me to learn. This is a moment for me to stand firm. This is a moment for me to prove I can be faithful, that no matter what I face, no matter what comes my way, I'm living this life for him, for him, not for me, not for my comfort level. And one day the prize, the prize is far more than we deserve. And one day, guys, again, there'll be no more tears. There'll be no more pain. And I'm looking forward to that day because I think it gets, it's getting close. And I've missed this. Um, I'm a little out of practice, but I love you guys. And um, if you've been facing trials like I have, dig those toes into that solid ground. Hold on tight. Stand firm. Check your armor. Did you drop your shield of faith? Lift it back up. God bless.